Hello and blessings. I'm Matana. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, thank you also for all your feedback and all your support. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, many people um, contact me and uh, a lot of the uh, uh, wonderful beings who are watching uh, my recordings, you can uh, feel the energy. And it's important that you feel uh, that you feel uh, the energy work or the distance healing work uh, flowing and uh, affecting or supporting your system. But more important than anything, for me, is that you feel your own energy. I can, you know, I can do energy work all day long, and it's good and it's a good support. But my goal is you tapping into your awareness and starting to activate your own healing energy or your, your energy awareness. That's really the key because I get also a lot of, uh, uh, lot of uh, messages saying, I don't feel your energy or, you know, it's, it's not strong enough or, or, you know, or the wildest comments for it, of course. But what, what about your own energy right now at this time in your life? Uh, can you feel your first chakra, your second, your third, your fourth, your fifth, your sixth, your seventh chakra in its maximum state of being uh, or beingness? And if not so, why not? Your energy field is as powerful as now, as yesterday, as tomorrow, as you want it to be. Right now, to be in your full, healthy, loving energy field and its full awareness so that the natural balance is present in your daily life. And that's what the, my teachings or my work is about is um, to remind you that we all have the power of healing, of compassion, of respect. The question is, if we don't feel it at that time, why are we not feeling it? What are we doing? What, what's happening with it? What belief system or a thought process makes us wanting to give that awareness or that energy away. It's more that my work is for me to be in this state of energy, to remind you that we all can be in this state of beingness or accelerated presence of consciousness at all times. And that's that's a flow, that's a natural continuous flow um, of, uh, of, of presence of, um, you know, of consciousness. So when we start to tap into our connectedness with the universe, with God, with the creative uh, aspect, with the enlightenment, with the Buddha consciousness or Christ consciousness, then we are in a state of balance. We are in a state of harmony and connectedness. So that's, that's really my, uh, my work, is to remind you that, yes, it is a good support that I'm doing here, but this is a reminder for you that you have these healing abilities, that you are the healer that have to, has to start to applying it. And that's why I'm working on this channel to remind you of the energy flow as you feel it. And if you don't feel it, then I would like you to immediately go into the, the, the bridge of your of your of your ship that's um, your life 
when you say awareness on, energy awareness on, healing light on, consciousness of energy awareness be present, so that you can feel the energy of yourself, your own bioenergy. You should feel this any time. When you walk, when you sit, when you stand, when you sleep, your awareness of that you are on this planet, consciously, about the whole processes that are going on in your system, that awareness should be there, and the energy flow the uh, should be so ex accelerated and so strong and amplified that you feel the hair standing up on your back, on on your on your back, on your arms, you know. Or that you feel the goosebumps of that creative energy flowing through you at all times. And then on top of it, then receiving the energy work, that can amplify it. And that can accelerate the healing. But I want you to remember that it's important for you to tap into your energy awareness. That you feel your own energy at all times. That's why I'm doing this work here, to remind you. This is an empowerment channel. This is to empower. This is to remind you of your potential. All right? Thank you so much, and I'm so grateful um, for you allowing me to uh, support you. Thank you.